All right, let's see what you got, my man. Sure. <clears throat> Don't look at the clock, it's deceiving. Everything you are so dependent on perceiving the future. Fickle notions of your mind, us creatures of this earth, always contemplating time to a saddening extreme. Many of us travel, sheep without shepherds, and none but battle unravel. The turnout was better than I expected, and it was clear right away I was drowning in talent. Arise, the time is now. So after auditioning a drummer named Chris who could really pound the skins, and Yanni, a physically attractive singer who had the right kind of ambition. I mean, on a wider perspective, like I want the whole world to hear what I have to say. My band was starting to take shape. This is freedom to me. But I still needed to figure out which musician was best suited to playing the smoke detector. So I organized the band's first rehearsal, and after watching them jam, <laughs> quickly became clear that the standout talent was Eddie. He was not only the best musician, but also the best showman. If anyone could make the smoke detector work, it was him. So after rehearsal was over, I kept Eddie behind to show him his new instrument. I can sing, I can play the drums. This is not an instrument. It is, it's a blue smoke detector. No, no. This is going to be the thing that separates us from any other band. OK. And that means the guy who plays it is going to be the most famous. You want to be famous, don't you? Um, maybe. You do? Yeah. Dazzled by the promise of fame, Eddie agreed to learn the blue smoke detector with the help of our instructional DVD. The best way to play it is by simply pressing the test button on the front. OK. So with Eddie on board, I spent the next couple days writing lyrics for what would hopefully be our breakthrough single. And then I called the band back together to see what they thought. So, so you know when you uh, really like a girl, but she won't even look at you in the eye, you know? Mm -hmm. This song's uh, kind of about that. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just a little nervous right now because it's, you know, it's personal and I'm not a, the best singer. <clears throat> when I talk to other people about you, I say her. In my bed rests a pillow where you once were. My lips, my hair, my skin, my eyes. When you left me, it was a big surprise. Maybe one day I'll wake up on Jupiter, an entire planet, just me and her. The band seemed to like my song. Thank you. But then Yanni said that he had a song of his own that he'd been working on. Through distancing ourselves from nature, we've distanced ourselves from each other. So the song's kind of based off that. I like that message. I mean, we need to respect like the habitat we live in. It's time to revolutionize. The song was called Orphan Skies, and after taking a band vote, they liked his song more. And that was great, because the best song won, and that's what we wanted. So I told Yanni to teach it to the rest of the band, with one minor adjustment. Just so you guys know, I took Eddie off guitar, and he's going to be on Smoke Detector for this one. Smoke Detector? I know it's a bit weird, but it's really important that this band has a smoke detector in it. I think it could be the thing that maybe makes us stand out. Do we have to have that one? The like, smoke I detector? Think, yes. I mean, no offense, but if you guys are, are good enough, you should be able to make it work, right? 